Hey everyone, it's Rob the Backyard Gardener and today we're going to be talking about how to grow mango trees from seeds. So I've had a lot of viewers ask me to grow some mango trees from seeds and you know what? After several attempts of different methods, I think I have found probably the best method. Uh, I want to give credit to Melvin Way who also has a YouTube channel and I'm really enjoying his mango series and I'll put a link down below this video in the description so you can check it out. But he's combined a couple of methods that I've tried along with a really good method that I think works. I've kind of altered it up but I wanted to show you how I do it, uh, how to get the seed out of the pit, how to uh, start the seed to get it germinated and we'll be following this series as they grow. Today's episode is only from day zero through 17, but has a lot of information on how to kick off those mango seeds to get them germinated and off to a good start. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's go see how we get this done. All right, guys, we've got a couple of mango seeds here. Now, I've removed these from the mango mangoes about three days ago, and I put them in a little Ziploc baggie to let them kind of ferment a little bit. Now, they're not fermented, there's no mold on them, but I wanted this to stimulate a little bit of the germination process. They haven't been kept in the fridge at all, just on the countertop. They're definitely, definitely ready to go. After you remove the most of the pulp off, and you could brush most of this pulp off to, to see just the seed that's underneath. There's actually a pretty hard seed right here, as you can see. But the key is, inside of this hard shell, there's actually a mango seed. So what you wanna do is you wanna take this seed and this there's a fatter part of it and then a thinner part. So the seed is, most of the critical part of the seed is then here. So you definitely wanna cut along the edge, but stay as far away from this fat part as possible. So on this one, sometimes it's best to kinda of clear a spot away like this so I can see the shell. And right there, you can see the shell. So you'll wanna make a small cut right across that shell as close to the edge as possible. And it may take you a couple of cuts because you're really just trying to get the bare minimum of the shell as possible. And I'll show you why in a second. So I've cut away a little bit of the shell, exposing, you can see the seed inside there. And now that I've done that, we'll want to try to split this shell open. I recommend taking the knife and keeping it very shallow and just cutting along this edge. And you'll want to do it for the other side as well. Once you get in there, once you've exposed it, you can actually turn the, sh the shell and you'll see that it opens up just like this. Once I have it open, I try to get my finger in there and pull it apart. Sometimes you'll need to open it a little bit more. I don't think I'm quite opened yet. I need to get a little bit more of the top side opened up. There we go. And once you open it up, you can see the seed inside. Sometimes if you're lucky, the seed's already sprouted. In this case, it hasn't. Now also, there's this paper substance on here. You can just peel that off and preferably, you do want to peel that off because the most susceptible part to mold on this seed is this paper coating. Now, you may have to let it dry on the counter for a little bit. You don't want to dig into it. You don't want to damage the seed as much as possible, but you should be able to pull most of it away. If it's not that easy to pull away yet, then you can wait, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. You don't want the seed to dry out. You just want the paper to be a little bit easier to remove. Again, not a critical step, but I have found you decrease your likelihood of getting mold on these seeds when you remove this paper shell. And that should be enough. 
we'll do the exact same process on the other seed, which I've already cut and got started. Again, we're just putting our fingers inside and separating this one. And pulling the seed out. Preferably, you'd love to see a little tiny root started on these. That's when you know that they're just itching to grow. But sometimes they don't have them. Matter of fact, most of the time they don't have them. The key is you don't want it to be moldy. This one looks a little unhealthy. If you look at the difference, this one looks like it might be slightly rotten. And that does happen sometimes. Matter of fact, I do recommend you trying two, three, or four seeds at a time because you're only going to get germination rate on about, in my opinion, for what I've done, 33 to 50% of the seeds you try. Some will get mold. Some were never going to sprout. Sometimes the mango's not ripe enough. The seed's not mature enough. Sometimes the method that you use doesn't work as well. But we've got an example of one that's working just fine, and I'll show you the method I do next. All right, everyone. Now, in this water bottle, I have got one part 3% hydrogen peroxide mixed with three parts of just purified water. I do recommend you do want to give your seeds a small bath to remove any possible spores or mold spores or contaminants. Again, they're very prone, very prone to mold. It's not going to be a perfect process but the little bit of hydrogen peroxide that we have in here will help kill off any of the bacteria and not damage the seed at all in any way. Plus, it's nice to give it a bath and remove any of that extra paper sh uh, shell that's still stuck to it, as you can see. Now that we've done that, and again, we've got both seeds. One's not looking as good, in my opinion, but we'll give it a shot as well. Now that we've got the seeds rinsed off, there's a couple of different things you can do. I prefer using the Ziploc bag method to get these guys incubated and germinated. One, mangoes are pretty tropical plants. They want some heat, but they also are used to being in the dark with heat before they germinate. So the key is keeping it moist and warm. And so there's a couple of ways you could do it. You can use a wet paper towel and you can place the seed either inside and fold it over and place the wet paper towel into a Ziploc bag and put it in a warm, dark place. You could do that. I have found when I do it that method, because you have organic material here being the paper towel, you increase the likelihood of getting mold. And it seems like three out of four seeds will get mold. They'll either sprout and then die of mold or they won't sprout at all because the mold will come or whatever. So I just prefer now to not use paper towels if possible. The method I'm going to be using today is the saran wrap method. Saran wrap can still, when you crinkle it, it still holds moisture as you can see. And it's not organic, so it's not going to collect any mold. The only mold that can happen is collecting on the seeds, which we've given a hydrogen peroxide bath and removed most of that paper. And so in my opinion, the saran wrap method is the best to do. Now, I don't want to take credit for this. I uh, follow one of my fellow gardeners, Melvin Way, and I'll post a link to his channel. But he started mango seeds and really inspired me to give it a shot with this saran wrap method. He does it a little bit differently than I'm doing it today, but I really liked his uh, philosophy on using saran wrap instead of organic material, and I'm, I gave it a shot. So what I would like to do is take the, the saran wrap, and on the seed, it's going to grow a root from this fat end, this bottom fat end here, and typically from the back side of the fat end is where the uh, plant will come from. So I want to make sure I give it an opportunity to sprout properly. And so what I have found is if I just gently place it in the saran wrap like this so that it stays moist and supported, this seems to be the best way to grow it. 
I've got a bag here labeled 8718, which is today. And what I do is I add this moisture laden saran wrap into this bag, just like this, pretty simple. I'm gonna add a little extra water with hydrogen peroxide just to give it some extra moisture content. Not much, maybe several drops worth or the generous pour or the pour like I did. We're gonna put a little bit of air in the bag, not a lot, just a little bit, enough so that we can fold it over and have kind of a bubble like you see here. I'm gonna leave it like this for several days, probably two or three days after I put it in a warm, dark place. And every th two to four days, maybe three or four days, I'm going to dump out the water that's in there, replace it with fresh uh, distilled water, and keep checking the progress. As soon as I see a root growing, I'll reposition the saran wrap so that the root can face the water. Now it's 100% humidity in here, so the, the root doesn't need to be in the water necessarily, but I still like to, to, to set it up that way. And this to me is the best way to get mango seeds started. Now I've got one started that I started a little over two weeks ago. And so I wanna show you that one, it's right here. This one I started on July 21st, 2018. And if you can see here, we've clearly got a root started. And if I can show you right here, we even have the beginning of where the plant's gonna come out from right there. So this has only been, what is that, 10, 17 days? Now it took about four days to germinate, five days to germinate. And all it's done so far is green up the seed and put out a longer root. And you can see the root's healthy. It's got a nice white tip, looks pretty good. Now it's, I got a little bit of water in here as well. No mold whatsoever, no mold. So we're off to a great start. Obviously once these seeds get a little more mature, as in once this seed sprouts the uh, little plant out of here that shoots the shoot out, it's gonna start getting caught up in this uh, bag and we don't want that. And so once the plant comes out, what'll happen is it'll open like this, or I guess, to do it properly, it's gonna open like this. Once this plant comes out, I'm going to want to put this in some soil. Now, it's been in 100% humidity, so when I first put it in some soil, I'm gonna to have to cover the soil a little bit so to keep the humidity up as this plant comes up and grows up. Now, you can plant the seed sideways, or I can put it in the ground like that, but that's for another video. I hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. This is my first real attempt at filming mango trees grown from seed. This is day zero through 17. We'll be back in a couple of weeks when we hit the one month mark and we'll see how they're doing. At that point, I'll give you an update on the one I started on July 21st, as well as the two that I'm starting today. I don't have high hopes for this one, I'll be honest. It doesn't look that healthy, but you never know. So there you have it everyone, that's my first uh, video in the How to Grow a Mango Tree from Seeds series. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. And as always, happy gardening and thanks for watching.